Ruins update. Tuesday, April 8, 2014, the Boston Bruins fall victim to the Minnesota Wild in a shootout. After defeating the Philadelphia Flyers on Saturday afternoon at TD Garden, the Boston Bruins travel up to Minneapolis, St. Paul for a date with the Minnesota Wild in the XL. Energy Center and the Minnesota Wild got on the board first on a Jason Pommerville slap shot goal with assist from Miko Koivu and Zach Parise it was one up in favor of the Minnesota Wild. And then a minute 55 seconds later, Riley Smith slap shot goal, power play goal, 20th assist in the 20th goal of the season. 1-1 one, one the score. And then at 10 28 of the first period, Patrice Bedron puts the Bruins hand on a wrist shot goal. 20th goal of the season resists from Brad Marsh on 26 assists and Zane Char 21st assists. 2 1 in favor of the Bruins. But then at 10 56 of the first period, Jason Pommerville ties the score for the Wild on a wrist shot goal assist from Matt Bolson and Eric Adela. And it was tied at two repeats for one period. And then in the second period, the Boston Bruins would take the lead on a Loyal Erickson tip in goal. Power play goal, ninth goal season assist from Gregory Campbell, 13th assist. And Doug Elm, the 19th assist, was 3 2 in favor of the Bruins and would stay that way until 105 in the third period. With the Minnesota Wild pulling the goalie, they got lucky as Ryan Sutter gets a wrist shot goal. With assist Matt Molson and Miko Koivu, and it was tied at 3 3 piece both time. And the third period and overtime, no shot to go. Two to some stolen goal, 10 and from Tuka Rask, and no goals netted in in the overtime, so it's time to shoot it. And the Bruins couldn't get anything past Ilya. Bruce Goblin should have ran as the Boston Bruins lose a tough one in a shootout loss to the Minnesota Wild at St. Paul's XL Council Energy Center 4 to 3 as the Boston Bruins drop to 53 18 and 8 in season, but they gained 1 point, 114 points. Took a pass. He was alert and lost there. He had 15 saves on 18 shots and goal, while Ailip Kuzlov got 19 saves on 22 shots and goal from the world. Next up for the Boston Bruins, they will be up in Winnipeg on Thursday night for a date with the Winnipeg Jets. Alrighty, let us take a look at our other scores around the NHL here. Up in New York Islanders here. Ottawa defeated the New York Islanders 4-1. In the final overtime, Columbus Blue Jackets defeated Phoenix Coyotes 4-3. Tampa Bay. Lightning. Blink the Toronto Maple Leafs 3-0. Philadelphia over Florida 5-2. Washington. Then in St. Louis 4-1. Third period down to Dallas. Nashville Predators and Dallas starts 2-2 two -two time. Up in Edmonton. Colorado Avalanche leading the Edmonton Oilers 2-1 in the second period. Detroit defeated in the Buffalo Sabres 4-2 and, and the yeah, Rangers defeat the Crown Hurricanes 4-1. Alright, let's take a look at our push for the playoffs here. Hi, Dr. Ward. It's Maggie. Wait. Current standings here. Uh, I was calling okay. Because I was hoping you might be available for a consultation. Colleague to colleague. I I have three patients with the same wild card playoffs there. Fourth patient as well. It's just the top Three seeds in the Atlantic, Boston with 114 points, Montreal 97 points, and Tampa Bay at 95 points here. Top three in the Atlantic, top three in the Metropolitan is Pittsburgh 105 points, New York Rangers at 93 points, and Philadelphia. He was there. Flyers the 91 points all clinched. Gone. Playoff spots end. Just show up no. and disappear at will. That's what you're Who wild card seeds in it? Wild Jacob card tight as a race. Detroit Red Wings got the first wild card at 90 points. Columbus at 89 points. Here. And Washington not far behind at 85 points. New Jersey 84 and Toronto 84 points. And Ottawa at 82 and Carolina 79 points. And in the NHL Western Conference. Top three teams in Central Division. 
St. Louis at 111 points, Colorado at 107 points, and Chicago 105 points. In the Pacific, Anaheim at 110 points, San Jose 107 points, and Los Angeles 96 points, and Wildcard with Minnesota winning, they clinch the 7th seed in Wildcard. The first Wildcard, the second Wildcard game, it is a toss up between Dallas. Holding on the second wild card seed, Phoenix, 87 points there. Yeah. And Nashville, 81 points with Vancouver eliminated there. Well, the playoffs were to end. Playoffs were to start today. Bruins will be taking on the Columbus Blue Jackets there. In the Eastern Conference first round, the Montreal Canadiens will be taking on the Tampa Bay Lightning. Pittsburgh Penguins will be taking on the Detroit Red Wings, New York Rangers, and the Philadelphia Flyers. In the Western Conference, it was St. Louis will be taking on the Dallas Stars. Calvary Avalanche taking on Chicago Blackhawks. And I might have taken on the Minnesota Wild and San Jose Sharks taking on the Los Angeles Kings. And the race by the President's Cup, which means the team with the most points in the league will get the President's Cup. And you don't even know what you are, do you? Resurrection, new Sunday at 9, 8 central on ABC. And see full episodes anytime on Watch ABC and ABC On Demand. Now on New Center 5. The Boston Marathon attack in the national spotlight tomorrow. Boston Bruins have 114 points. What happened here? And the St. Louis Blues. He said, what? Yeah. 111 points. So, the Bruins have three points here. The Bruins at 114 and St. Louis at 111. So, exciting layoff. Exciting race coming up. And can't wait for it. Exciting final four days. Five days of the NHL season. As for the Bruins, they're going to bounce back in the loss. And focus on Winnipeg here. And it's just the Minnesota Wild were the hungrier team than they were the desperate team. And they want to cook the playoffs on home side. And bye guys today. Well, move on to the Jets for the Bruins. There.